Hello everyone. My name is Priyanka Shane and I am working as an assistant professor in artificial intelligence and data science department of AISSMS Institute of Information Technology Pune. In this video we are going to study the concept of threaded binary tree. In order to understand the concept of threaded binary tree, first of all we need to know what is binary tree. In case of binary tree, each node can have at most two child nodes. It means node in the binary tree may have only left child node or only right child node or it may have both left and right child nodes. Or sometimes it may also happen that node has no child nodes at all. We all know that every node is divided into three parts. That is data, pointer to the left child and pointer to the right child. In this figure you can see for first node, one is the data, left pointer is pointing to the node 2 and right pointer is pointing to the node 3. When there is only one child node or no child node, at that time this left and right space for the pointer remains null. The main idea behind threaded binary tree is, instead of keeping the space null, it is good to keep some information. That information is of immediate parent and the pointer which stores this information is known as thread. Threaded binary trees are further classified as single threaded binary trees and fully threaded binary trees. Single threaded binary trees are again classified as left threaded and right threaded. Now let us understand the left threaded binary trees. In this figure you can see node 56 has both left and right child nodes. Node 23 also has both left and right child nodes. Node 20 has only left child. Node 10 does not have left as well as right child nodes. So we can create left thread for node 10. As per the rule of left threaded tree, this thread should point to the in order predecessor of given node. And in order to write in order sequence of given binary tree, we visit the nodes in order left root right. Therefore, in order traversal of this binary tree is 10, 20, 23, 30, 56, 85, 89. Here 10 does not have in order predecessor, so left thread from 10 will point to the header. We can see node 30 does not have child nodes, so we can create left thread for it. Now check the predecessor of 30 in our in order sequence. It's 23. So left thread from 30 will point to the 23. Similarly, 85 does not have any child node and its in order predecessor is 56. So left thread from 85 will point to the 56. Now let us see what is right threaded binary tree. In this figure we can see node 56 has both left and right child nodes. Node 23 also has both left and right childs. Node 20 has only left child. It means pointer of right child is empty. So we can create thread from right child. And as per the rule of right threaded tree, this pointer should point to the in order successor of given node. In our previous slide, we have seen that in order to write in order sequence of given binary tree, we visit the nodes in order left, root, right. Therefore, in order traversal for this binary tree is 10, 20, 23, 30, 56, 85, 89. Here we can see in order successor of 20 is 23. So right thread from 20 will point to 23. Similarly, 10 does not have any child nodes. So we can draw right thread from 10 to its in order successor that is 20. Here 30 does not have right child. Its in order successor is 56. So right thread from 30 will point to 56. Similarly, 85 does not have right child and its in order successor is 89. So right thread from 85 will point to 89. 89 does not have right child but it is also not having in order successor. So right thread will point to the header. Now let us understand what is fully threaded binary tree. In case of fully threaded binary tree, we search the nodes with zero child nodes. Then left thread of that node points to the in order predecessor 
and right thread points to the in order successor. You can see in this figure node 30 does not have any child node. So its left thread is pointing to the in order predecessor that is 23 and right thread is pointing to the in order successor that is 56. Thank you for watching.